Okay, so here we are in my backyard, between mine and my neighbor's backyard, and uh, and I want to show you guys how to identify the uh, the honey vine milkweed, which is a very common plant that grows along along fence lines that uh, that you probably have in your neighborhood somewhere too, maybe even in your own backyard. I want to encourage you not to rip it down until well after October when the monarchs head back down south towards Mexico. Um, if you do have it up. I know it can be kind of an unsightly thing. Um, certainly people don't like things necessarily growing along their fence line unless they put it there on purpose, like I've got some uh, blackberries over there. But, uh, <clears throat> but this is one of the things that the, that the, that the monarchs lay their eggs on, and, uh, and it's a host plant for, for their caterpillars. And here it is. You can see that it's a, uh, it's a heart-shaped leaf. It's got a long... Let me turn it upside down so you can see how much more like a heart it looks. There we go. But it's a it's a smooth leaf, and the leaves will grow opposite each other. Okay, so one on that side, one on that side, one on that side, one on that side, and all along the vine it grows like that. Then from a distance, the white flowers that you see on there kind of resemble clovers, just the the kind of white flower clovers that that grow in your grow as weeds in your grass, but when you get up close, you'll see they, they, they really don't look like clovers, but they are a composite flower with lots of different flowers per, um, per little cluster right there. Um, but anyway, this, this flower serves as a nectar plant for the, for, the <clears throat> for the adult butterflies, and it'll also help you identify them when you, when you see them. So, so we've got a vine with opposite opposite leaves growing on it that are long drawn out heart shapes also the leaves have a smooth edge on them not a not a toothed edge or rough edge or anything and they do have a little bit of a gloss on them kind of hard to tell in the in the shade here but they do also I'm going to show you here what the fruit looks like see this this is from last season now certainly you've seen this growing up probably um, this is the the milkweed seed pod and inside of it will be a lot of fluff. This is from last season. The ones this season are, are small and green right now. They're, they're not mature yet. I'm gonna pause the video and move to another section of the yard. Okay, so here we are at another section of the yard. And you see here, this is a is kind of a heart-shaped leaf, but it's got a toothy edge. This one is not the, uh, the honey vine milkweed. We follow my fence line down, and we've got some more stuff growing down here. See these? These are not milkweed. But if we continue to look down here, we see the plant kind of changes. It's not the plant itself, but the uh, the types of plants that are growing down here change. You can see the see the white clustered flowers here and here and here, and we see a tiny baby milkweed pod right here. So that's the green one. That's going to grow into the the great big brown brownish gray one that we saw earlier. And it's gonna have these these fluffy, um, well, it's tufts of fluff, and, uh, and, they, they, and they fly away in the wind. But anyway, this one here, this is not a milkweed. See how it's not heart-shaped? But we can find some milkweed leaves in here. Let's see, this one, this one here is. It's because these vines are all kind of bound together of these different plants. So we've got non-milkweed next to next to a milkweed. So in just a moment I'm going to show you how I how I look for for the the monarch eggs and the monarch caterpillars. All right. Okay so here we are at another part of my of my yard um, along the back fence line my back neighbor's yard. Um, anyway this is another honey vine milkweed. You can see again the white composite flower right in here. The, uh, the opposite heart-shaped leaves. And so, so what I do when I'm looking for, for evidence of caterpillars is first I look to see if any of the leaves look chewed up. And none of these look chewed up. So if there are caterpillars here, they're not going to be very mature ones. They're gonna be tiny baby ones, like newborn hatchlings. But the other thing I look for is I look for eggs. And so what I do is I just kind of lift the leaves up and I look on the bottom side. That's all I do. And I don't really look at too many of the ones that are really down low 
like I wouldn't necessarily look at these down here and the reason why is because a butterfly is not going to land inside of the mass of leaves and lay eggs she's going to lay on, on the top and lay, and lay her eggs underneath and so when I look up here here at this one here's one flipped over on its back side already and can you see there it's got a little little egg on it that right there is a monarch egg right there and so what I'll do is I'll pull that off not the egg but the leaf and I'll bring it inside and raise it in a little cup like this for a while and then once it gets bigger I'll put it in a in a larger habitat enclosure Let's see if I can get closer to that where you can see it come on get in focus get in focus there it is there's that egg now I'm going to go over to my my neighbor's yard and see if I can find some caterpillars over there and uh, and show you that too Okay, so here we are at my favorite at my neighbor's uh, fence line, and she's got milkweed there. All that's milkweed. It's the honey vine milkweed, and it just keeps going all the way down there, and then she's got it all across that way too. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I saw out here, and I was looking for damaged leaves that showed evidence of of larger caterpillars, but I didn't see any of that. However, down here on this chunk, what I did see. And here's all I did. As I go and I pull it up like this. Take a look at the underside. And let's see if I can find that one I found a little bit ago. Oh, there it is. Right there. Let's see if the camera will zoom in right. Right there. See it? There we go. Monarch egg right there. Tiny, tiny little thing, but there it is. So a monarch has been visiting this plant, but fairly recently, because the egg is still white, it hasn't started to turn black yet, like there's a developing embryo inside. All right, so then I'm gonna put that back down. Come over here to this section, and I did notice one of the leaves was pretty well chomped up, but uh, I didn't see any caterpillars on it. I think it might have disappeared. Can you see that? See how chewed up that one looks? Yeah, that one's been chewed up quite a bit, but there was no caterpillar for it, so could have been could have been chomped on. Made a I don't know, could have been washed off in the rain or something. But anyway, so when I was over here, I did notice where was it? There was another egg around here. I need to get down underneath of it and start lifting them up. Just so I can see the underside. I'm always gentle just in case there's something growing on it. Just lift it up, turn them over. See if you can find any eggs anywhere. I had, I had seen one egg and I don't remember why I saw it. I'm going to look for it again and I'll get back to you. That's right, I found it. It was up here by this this one that had some evidence of being eaten. It was on a neighboring leaf. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Can you see it right down there? There it is. It's another monarch egg. So I'll go ahead and pull these off and take it inside and raise it. But I hope that helped you with, uh, with identifying any milkweed in your own yard, on your own fence line. And please don't tear them off until sometime after October when the butterflies will 